people don't realize there's different types of collagen in the human body. Type one collagen, which is what makes up the ligaments, which makes up 90 to 95% of the ligaments, gives strength to the ligaments. Type two collagen is found in hyaline cartilage. So when we talk about cartilage or cartilage regeneration, we're talking about regenerating type two collagen. Type three collagen, though it's in ligaments, it only makes up five to 9% of the ligament. Now type three collagen and type five collagen, those are often the collagens that are deficient or defective in Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. So when somebody gets diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, the genetics of the type one collagen is actually normal. So that's why they respond really, really good to prolotherapy. Type three collagen, which is affected in Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, only makes up five to 9% or so of the collagen in the ligament. So it is true, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome patients have a really lot of joint laxity and that joint laxity is what actually causes a lot of the symptoms. But just know, because prolotherapy tightens ligaments and ligaments are primarily type one collagen, Ehlers-Danlos patients heal really, really well with prolotherapy, just like a person who has knee ligament laxity without Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. If you have a genetic uh, deficiency or, or mutation of type one collagen, that disease is called osteogenesis imperfecta. So that's a completely different uh, condition and it really, really affects the bones. Just know that people who are, have joint hypermobility conditions, that the genetics of the type one collagen is normal and those people respond really, really well to prolotherapy.